Hey, this is Logan Badfish Noel from Phoenix. Hey, this is Prank from Team Pandemic. Hey, this is Mike JTS2 MP from Team Dirty Bird. Hey, this is Hipshot from DNO, and you're watching E Rev. E Rev, don't just watch it, get into it. <laughs> this is Hudson's only good player, Morris. This is Mike Zillia Simpson from Powerhouse Gaming. Yo soy Matt Chimpe Gomez, el equipo de Exogun Gaming. <laughs> Hey, oh, this is Chuck Prep White from Team DRT. Hi, this is Salvador from 50 Cal, and you watch E Rev TV. E Rev, don't just watch it, get into it. Salut, c'est François Joufflu Lorty, de Final Destination. Hey, this is Big Tuck, baby Chase Tucker from 50 Cal. This is Rob SSR Myers from Frag Domino. Hey, this is Brett from Team Guardian. Hey guys, this is Nabor from Team Pandemic, mm -hmm. and you're watching E Rev TV. E Rev, don't just watch it, get into it. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome once again back to E Rev TV, where tonight some more Sebo A playoffs here between Dynamo and Lossless, and this should be a very, and I mean very, entertaining match. At because I'm going to be your host tonight, Anger, alongside none other than my main man, Wantsum. Good evening, Wantsum. What's going on, bro? Oh well, hello there, COD4 community. We're back again, and. Um, Gonna see Dynamo and Lossless match up here. Uh, some great scope play probably here on Backlot. Uh, pretty unordinary, but we'll see it here. And uh, looking forward to the match. Now, I pulled him back by popular demand, mostly from E Rev. But coming back, he casted it at Nerveland, the first one from Pandemic. My man Sang. What's going on, Sang? Hey, Anger, how's it going? Glad to be back. Glad to be joining you guys here tonight. That's going to be a great match. Yes, it will. And on the video, the man, the myth, and definitely the legend, Limic. Good evening, Limic from Canada. Hey, bonsoir, les boys. Comment ça va? J'espère que tout va bien dans la communauté de Cod 4. Yeah, c'est ça. On va avoir un bon match ce soir. You know I don't speak Spanish. All right. That was Limey. He's giving a little go. message to some of the Frenchies that are going to be playing in here tonight, mostly from Dynamo. That would be Nick and Alec and I believe Joint. So uh, we're going to have some French representation here. But tonight, back a lot, gentlemen, and this is going to be a, a set nade map, of course. You're going to see a ton of them, especially uh, coming from the offense, uh, tr preferably trying to get those uh, last-minute uh, set nades on people that are coming out, po possibly the slow ones that are coming out of their uh, spawn. And, uh, I mean, Wansom, why don't you tell the people a little bit about this map, because I know this has got to be one of your favorites, and I'm being sarcastic. Yeah, it's, it's one of those maps where I'd probably like a lot more if I had a better video card, because uh, all the fast-paced action with the SMGs and all the nades going off, I just, I suck. But uh, that's nothing new. But like you said, Anger, you're going to see a lot of set nades on this map. Uh, you'll get a few kills the first couple rounds on offense and defense using those rounds um, to sort of feel out the set nades from the other team, and you'll see uh, more used as a delay tactic getting into the A and B bomb sites, but uh, it would appear we're doing a server change here, Anger, so uh, let's go there now. Yeah, we're going to take a real quick break here as we're going to change servers, and we will be right back in about maybe a few minutes, so just stay tuned as we're going to change servers. Peace. 
Hey, this is Logan Bad Fish Noel from Phoenix. Hey, this is Prank from Team Pandemic. Hey, this is Mike JTS2 MP from Team Dirty Bird. Hey, this is Hipshot from DNO, and you're watching E Rev. E Rev, don't just watch it, get into it. <laughs> this is Hazen's only good player, Morris. This is Mike Zulia Simpson from Powerhouse Gaming. Yo soy Matt. Hey, this is Chuck Prep White from Team DRT. Hi, this is Salvador from 50 Cal, and you watch E Rev TV. E Rev, don't just watch it, get into it. Salut, c'est François Joufflu Lorty, de Final Destination. Hey, this is Big Tuck, baby Chase Tucker from 50 Cal. This is Rob SSR Myers from Frag Domino. Hey, this is Brett from Team Guardian. Hey guys, this is Nabor from Team Pandemic, and you're watching E Rev TV. E Rev, don't just watch it, get into it. Alright, we're right back here as uh, we have changed servers and it uh, looks like everybody's pings have stabled out at least a little bit. Uh, it's like tension. It was pinging for like about a 460 something. My god, I don't know what type of uh, routing table he's on, but nevertheless he's back down to 79. So we should be all fine here at this server and uh, we should be kosher. Now, the players to watch for here, I mean, my goodness, there's going to be a lot of them. Of course, you're going to see <laughs> the, uh, the double threat here. <laughs> Nick and Temp. I mean, these two are beast-like, and of course, you can't forget my man Joint Task Force 2. I mean, these three alone will do some work here, and they will make Lossless uh, really work for their rounds here, uh, Wansom. Yeah, I'd, I'd say Dynamo is probably one of the better team-based, you know, teams you actually have out there. Uh, they may not have superior guns on every map, but they work very well in tandem with each other. So they're a lot of fun to watch. And also, you know, Furious G, he's a top five scope in this game in my book. So uh, look out for him on this map. Yeah, we'll talk about Lossless really quick. As the rounds are going to get underway, we'll go over the starting lineup in here. And right now we're going to look at Lossless. At least I will. We have attention. And it looks like Dev and Kind right now. Actually, we have four members here from Lossless uh, getting the smoke up and really making a full push here into the uh, B-bomb site. Uh, right now we have Robin, a.k.a. Alec. Now get some shots. Oh, my God. He gets a nice double kill on Kind and sick with it there. Dev taking out Robin. So right now, Dev is the last person standing here as he gets taken out there by Batman, a.k.a. Nick, and his 1-0 to zero Dynamo off the start. And uh, right now, Wants, why don't you go over the starting lines for both teams? All right. For Dynamo, we have Robin, a.k.a. Uh, that would be uh, Alec, I believe. Uh, JTF2 joined Task Force 2 there for those of you guys that don't know where his name come from, came from. Templar, uh, Batman will be Nick tonight, and Furious G going to be at the bottom there for Dynamo. Uh, for Lossless here we have Dev, sick with a TWF kind intention, and we've seen them perform very well so far this season, Anger, so it'll be interesting to see how they stack up against Dynamo, who should probably be CVOP in my opinion. They have definitely played on that level. So here we are in the second round of play. Here we have Tension and TWF still left up for Lossless right now as Nick is going to answer into TWF, but there's Tension to answer back. And Furious G going to finish up the round here. 2-0 uh, to zero in favor of Dynamo here, Ted. So, um, you know, if you're on the defensive here, how do you slow down this onslaught coming from Dynamo? You mean, uh... I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 yeah, my mistake there. 
I fail. Yeah, it, the uh, lossless right that that last round, they just rushed into A and they just got absolutely shot from about three different directions. So they they kind of need to take it a little slower. Their set grenades really aren't hitting where they need to go. As we just see an exchange of kills there. Looks like Lossus is going to work more towards the middle now as they're trying to push their way into the uh, A bomb site. But uh, Dynamo still has the four, four, four man advantage here as Lossless uh, tries to. His last guy over there by the uh, B building. He's looking out to try and find someone. He's down off 4v1 right now. Uh, he's going to take a little fire by air conditioner. <laughs> and uh, it, top A, he's going to run top mid though. He oh. spots uh, Robin there, Alec, who's just prone. and. I mean, Dynamo right now, they're, they're just playing really, really well. Lossless is trying to rush, they're trying to get into the mid, they're trying to get into the A, and Dynamo's surrounding them, nading them, and coming in for the kill. I mean, it's just amazing. Yeah, and one of the things, though, I mean, the players that you really have to watch for, at least for Lossless, and they're going to have to step it up here, is going to be TWF sick with it, and especially Tension. I mean, Tension, we saw him play against... Uh, uh, I rev uh, the last time here a few days ago, and they just, I mean, as a whole, Lossless just pretty much butt raped I rev, and they sent him to pound goo there. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, they're going to have to really step up their game because, I mean, Dynamo is wow. just a whole nother level above. And right wow. now it's 4 to 0 as Dynamo gets a team ace. And wow, I mean, this may go fast, uh, gentlemen, but right now we're going to do some war room. Let's head on over to Lossless and let's see what they're doing wrong. Is it too slow? Probably too fast. Jesus. There you go. Let's do it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm gonna top A. One's that dozer. One's one steel, steel. Steel dozer and spawn. Steel dozer and spawn. Steel. Left side steel. Plus though. Backyard. He's playing on the left side, you left. Fuck. Fuck. Alright, let's get the rest of these rounds. Maybe we should go the other way. Right, live action let's go B. Let's go B. Fuse here, pretty much easy, done, uh, easy pickings there for Alec. So right now, I mean, Dynamo is just really laying the lumber uh, to the loss was 5-0. to zero. They're just beating them like a rented meal here wants them. <laughs> Can Lossless <laughs> really come back here? I mean, again, being only down five rounds, they still have some time here. Um, again, they got to go back on defense, so that may help them. But wants them, they're just really digging themselves a very deep hole here off the early start. They need to find a hole in Dynamo's defense right now, and they're just not finding it. And I believe that it was actually around the 10-can area as I watched last round. Uh, if I was lossless right now, I would push more towards the B site rather than A because right now Batman and Robin, you have Alec and Nicholas, and they are ridiculous with the SMGs, and they are just mowing down this lossless team right now as uh, Dynamo is now disadvantaged here. It's uh, actually going to come back even now, 3v3, and we have uh, Robin, Templar, and Furious G still up for Dynamo, and it is now all up to TWF and sick with it as TWF takes down Robin. Furious G is right there to put it in sick with its face, so now it's a 2v1. And uh, that's going to be the end of the round as Templar takes out TWF. We're at 6-0. to zero. And look out, because here comes Dynamo. And this is the harder side on this map, in my opinion. So, uh, you know, well, I'm, you know, I shouldn't say that. It's pretty balanced. Uh, but uh, when I've watched Dynamo before, they've struggled on the defensive. And uh, here they come 6-0 to zero here, Anger. Yeah, and, and this is going to be a tough task here. Again, uh, we're going to watch the Lossless. And this is very unique here, as Lossless has really put on their heels here. And Dynamo, you got to give them a lot of props because, again, they are pushing so aggressively. Really, uh, usually you see Lossless on the other hand of this, on the other side of the stick here, being aggressive. And you're just not seeing it here, Ted, as uh, right now, again, Dynamo doing an outstanding job just, just really rolling up Lossless. Yeah, right, right. If you just didn't see that right there, Lossless tried to work over towards the, the middle side of B, but Dynamo, all their guys from A, quickly rotated over and just shut them down to give them another, another uh, w round there to give them a 7 0 lead. And Dynamo, they're really showing the good teamwork, the, the really good strats, and, and the practice and preparation you know, mm -hmm. that we see from a lot of the Sevo P teams, the Pandemics, the EGs, the Guardians. You know, this, this is definitely a team that definitely deserves to be playing up with those guys. Yeah, right now we're going to head on over to Dynamo's War Room. Uh, let's go, Limey. On bottom mid. Yeah, one, one asshole. 
Top coming. mid, tag. Top mid. Oh, nice shot. Top Top mid down. down. No, it's my buddy. Top B, top B, top B. He crossed. He's in cross. He crossed library. Or living room. Washer. Washer, washer. He's trying to wash her. Damn. Nice. Oh, give me some kills. Run, run. Action. Eight to zero here again. Dynamo is just, I mean, just I, there's nothing more to say. They're just beating them down. I mean, if this was prison, I mean, right now Lossless would be their bitch because they're just getting bone dried right now. And Lossless, right, <laughs> it really needs to step it up. Uh, I'm going to take a look at Dynamo here. Wants him off to push and really kept up pretty much with the same strat. And what one of the good things that, that you know comes from a good team is that you can rotate to either bomb site pretty quickly and really. Um, work against the offense there depending on what the offense does wants them yeah they're doing the pretty basic uh you know two one two split there two to a one to middle and two to b and uh with that setup you can easily rotate the middle man uh to a or b and then vice versa as templar takes a skydive it's not going to matter though as dynamo has steamrolled lossless yet again to a 4v1 let's find dev and see where he's going to die at uh, as he is moving uh through the Let's see, 10 can area here. He's in the back of 10 can. Got a 74U out right now. And he is going to be pretty much surrounded here as we have uh, Nicholas playing on top of the middle roof. He's on the uh, triple roof there. And here comes some fire onto the 10 can area. Robin's above him. Dev takes out Nicholas. And Robin is right above Dev right now. And he is just waiting for him to climb that ladder. I doubt he will. And uh, we have an on map MG going off. And those things are terrifying. As here comes Robin on top of Dev to put a bullet <laughs> through the top of his skull there. So 9 to 0 in favor of Dynamo. And here's a team that has something to prove, Anger. Uh, they've been left out of, you know, the top three, top five votes as far as the, uh, you know, major news sources go, both at ERAV and GotFrag. And, uh... Looks like he uh, probably lagged out there as it looks like uh, I don't hear him anymore. But right now I'm going to pick it up here saying as uh, we're going to have Kine taking out Batman, TWF taking out Tension with a car explosion there. Temp taking out Kine, so again, back and forth action. And just like every each every round so far, uh, it's going to be Dev by himself here, as Dev's going to be going up against Temp, Furious, and Joint. And uh, Dev taking out uh, Elec there, as uh, Temp, or, uh, looks like he's moving, looks like Dev now in the mid connector here, as we're going to take a look at him with the uh, AK. And it's going to be interesting as he's getting just bombarded here by wall spamming, <laughs> get wall spammed <laughs> for the most part here. And uh, you can see the Tracer Browns going through the walls. Again, he's, they're going to be going up against Temp, Furious, and Joint. And uh, we're going to look at Dev there. We have Furious right now, possibly going into the connector, just holding off at the end. And we're going to take a look at Furious there as Di Joint just raves him there. <laughs> Hit the uh, 249, 10-0 now. And, uh, I mean, is there really any saving this uh, match here, uh, Ted? You know... Also, when when you're when you're down 10-0, you know it's it's not just against against the other team's strats. It's not against their nades. It's not against their shots. You're you're playing the mental game at this point right now. And Lossless is really down far uh, far down on that mental game, as they're just trying to rush A, trying to rush mid. And here comes Dynamo once again, wrapping it up, kills all over the place. Already a five on three for them. And uh, looks like looks like they're just holding out by mid. They're just trying to. Uh, stay in the mid building trying to get picks as Dynamo is just firing, standing through all those walls from every direction looking to get the kill. As it uh, looks like they're going to get this last guy as that's tension over there by the, under the uh, BMG building but he gets mowed down pretty easily. And you know that's just another round, 11-0 for Dynamo. As you know, I, don't, I really don't think Lossus is going to be able to come out with a, with a round here. Well, you know, this is not the loss list that we've seen in the past, and I'm just wondering if they even prepared this week. I mean, it doesn't look like it. I mean, the way they're playing, you got to think that um, Psyche right now, like you were stating, they're just they're just probably just going through the motions now. They pretty much given up, I would say. Again, they only uh, Dynamo only needs two more rounds, and they can put this to bed and really just bury loss list. But uh, loss list will still have another chance because they will go to the losers bracket. But I mean, my God, they got to really and uh, try to make it respectable here, Ted. Yeah, definitely. And you were talking about the preparation thing, and you know, I think you're definitely right about Lossless. Not, not. I don't think they put in the, enough preparation or, or any preparation for this match. I know that's a little, little hard to say, but I mean, a, a lot of ways to watch preparation on this map is is the rotations and the nades. And one thing I've noticed is Dynamo has been able to get inside that A by those uh by those lumber by those lumber uh, uh, bricks right outside of A every round. 
just rush in every round uncontested without any nades, without any, uh, or even a sniper watching that. So, you know, th that's something that uh, I think Lossus really uh, could have really benefited from them because Dynamo was just rushing out of A every round. It looks like we're going to start the second half here as uh, uh, Lossus is going to take to the defense to uh, hopefully get something going here. But, you know, th they're on game point every round. You know, they got to make something happen. I, I, it does. I don't think it, it matters how good their how good their defense is. They're not really going to be able to get this one down. I definitely agree with that. Uh, I think the momentum is fully in Dynamo's favor here. And speaking of Dynamo, uh, I want to remind everybody that this cast is being brought to you by uh, www.v2gameservers.com. Limac, if you want to key that up for me, uh, check them out for all your server and Ventrilo needs. And that is v2gameservers.com, sponsoring Dynamo. And uh, got some airtime here on Erev. So into this first round after the half, we have Lossless up. 4v1, actually. Nicholas, last man standing for Dynamo as he goes down to tension uh, from the AK-47. So it's 12 to 1. And uh, yeah. we'll, we'll see where it goes from here. Golf clap. we got to give Lossless a golf clap there. I mean, they, they <laughs> got a round here as Dynamo uh, gave it to him. So uh, unfortunately, I, I can't keep my mic and do the golf clap. But if you do watch uh, golf, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to look at Dynamo here as they're pushing out. It looks like uh, Batman, a.k.a. Nicholas, is going to take his time. looks like he's going to be the lone man going to A, and the rest of the four-man push is going to go to B. While it looks like Lossless now is going to take try to uh, flank and into B and possibly swing around Dynamo's push. Uh, I'm not sure if Dynamo, yes, they are. They're moving towards the front of the uh, apartment buildings here as Temp right now along with joint task force are trying to push into B we have TWF on top of the B apartments right now and trying to get some sh shots into temp here wants him so very interesting setup here for lossless but uh, ja joint task force a lone man for dynamo yeah and they're gonna make it a little more respectable here 12 to 2 and uh, as JTF2 was the final man down there and uh, it's just a matter of time here guys before uh, Dynamo outguns the lossless team here and uh, you know maybe they're getting a little more momentum on their side here but I assure you that Dynamo is not worried in the, in the least bit right here so uh, let's take a look at them here and see what they do off the bat is uh, they got some nades going over into the A courtyard looks like they tagged a few no kills though and Dynamo is just sitting back in spawn right now Furious G with that scope taking out TWF Early odds advantage here for Dynamo. We have Batman, JTF2, Templar, and Robin all playing at this L-turn area. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> As there comes Kind to clean up the oh. mess that was L-turn. And, uh, you know, Dynamo, I'm not sure what you were thinking there. Uh, I guess the quirky things can work every once in a while, but that was not one of your better strategic areas to sit in as uh, Furious G is going to go down to kind here. And JTF goes down as well. So 12 to 3 here, Anger. And if this goes into overtime, you know, smack my ass and call me a woman because I don't see it happening. Well, if that's the case, you're going to put on a nice G-string, but I don't think it'll happen <laughs> either, so you have no word. But look, let's just be let's just be fair here. I just hope Dynamo doesn't, I mean, I know they're way ahead here. I just hope that they don't, you know, really disrespect Lossless because, I mean, that last round there, you got to think that if they see that a few more times, Lossless is going to be pissed off, and I, I wouldn't blame them, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, without a doubt. That's, uh... You know, I don't, I don't think we'll see that. Dynamo seems to be a, a pretty professional team, but uh, I'm sure their spirits are, you know, pretty high right now. And uh, it's okay to do things like that once in a while, but you definitely don't want to rub things in people's faces. You're better and you know it. That's all that you need to know. So um, as this round will wind down, it looks like uh, going to be another round for Lossless here. And uh, Ted, let me ask you this. How do you feel about the recent, uh, you know, plethora of roster changes going through these professional teams here? You know, it's funny you asked me that because I actually had to deal with another roster change today. But uh, it's something that was expected, I think, you know, coming into the first season of, you know, Sivo Cal and everything like that. But what I think is really surprising was when the roster changes took place. They took place pretty much right before Sivo playoffs, which I don't think was a good idea. Um, just from a multiple multiple standpoints, I know I posted on Gottfrag specifically related to uh, uh, deny joining EG uh, rather than finishing up the season with Nexus kind of confused me because I really thought that, thought Nexus could have at least placed third and won some money where now he's kind of stuck sitting on his hands doing nothing so you know that that to me really wasn't a good move but uh, for all these uh, other roster changes you know like a lot of these teams really don't with, with, with the changes in you know rule sets coming up or so people seem to speculate and you know I'm sure you guys know that's that's you know the big talk nowadays mm -hmm. but uh you know everyone's trying to get you know the right roster they're trying to you know w 
get rid of the people who just spam through walls or you know people who kind of like glitch out the game and try and get more skilled players which is a good idea so I, I think right now the teams are a little hurting everything's a little in limbo land but I think you know for season two everything will be back to normal and we'll see some really really great teams that uh, that will step up to the professional level and really challenge the pandemics the EGs and the Guardians yeah, I, yeah. I definitely hope so man I, I hope to see more than three competitive teams playing at the top tier but, uh, you know, Anger, what are, what are your thoughts on that, man? I mean, you know, personally, I like to see those teams that stick together for a really long time, especially you look at Pandemic and Powerhouse just as examples. Uh, I find them more fun to watch, to, you know, playing because of their chemistry. Well, look, just we'll, we'll keep it in perspective here. I mean, you know, from a casting point, it was a little difficult trying to, you know, catch up with this miracle round of players. But it really all depends on what type of rule set we go to because, again, if we go to that single bomb, um, you know, you're going to see a lot of different type of uh, strats, strategies uh, from different teams. Communication is going to be a lot different. So just like with, uh, what Ted was stating there, they're looking for certain players, you know, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen, as Dynamo has uh, beat up here uh, uh, lossless. But really quick, uh, just to finish my uh, statement, you know, it all depends on the rule sets and what we're going to get from, from the rule sets and, and, and the teams that are really going to step up. Because I think then you're going to see more than just three teams. Uh, you know, once the uh, teams lock their rosters in and get those set up, you know, again, they're looking for those particular players. And that's, again, the rule sets is the key. Well, where we're going to head, you know, it all depends on the leagues. Yeah, definitely. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun to watch, man, especially if it does go to the uh, dreaded single bomb, in my opinion, because that's going to make me that much worse at this game. But, uh, you know, maps like the map we just watched on Backlot, you're probably going to see, you know, eight to nine rounds in offense where there's no bomb planted. So uh, it'll, it'll be definitely a different feel to the game. And uh, definitely a good matchup tonight as Dynamo kind of, you know, steamrolled Lossless there, and, and they're on a whole different level. And kudos to Lossless for the season they have had. Uh, they're not out of it yet. I believe they're into the loser bracket. Uh, correct, Anger? It, that is correct here. As I'm going to take a look at, really, real quick, if you want to get your shoutouts uh, over IRC, hit uh, pound e dash rev on the Game Surge Network, and hit up myself, uh, Eric, or Anger, and we'll definitely get those out to you. And I'm going to take a look here. Let's see what we have going. Oh, it looks like uh, since Dynamo has beat Lossless, they will take on Team Dynamic on Monday. And uh, we're going to have Lossless uh, taking on the, uh, looks like, uh, da, 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 gaming, no, it'd probably be Firefighters, I believe, or United Gamers, I'm not sure. Loser to V, and I don't see it. Oh, they gotta, they're got they going to have a week off, so they won't be playing until Thursday. I apologize. They will probably be playing the winner of six different teams or four different teams, so we're not sure yet. So some things have to be resolved before we even get to uh, the next opponent for Lossless. But Dynamo will be playing Dynamic on Monday, and that's going to be an interesting uh, match there because, again, you have Dynamic's new lineup. That should be rather interesting to see how they'll face up against Dynamo, and if, if Dynamo comes out of the gates like they did tonight, Ted, that's going to be a barn burner. Yeah, and yeah, this, my personal opinion, at least, I think Dynamo and Dynamic, top two teams in CVO A, I, I, at least I'd go as far as make that statement. So I think this is that match is definitely the right match, you know, in that in, in that upper bracket there. Both teams have worked extremely hard throughout the season, you know, with with the strats, with the teams, and just really staying in there. Where you know when they saw a, lo a lot of the other teams sort of fall out of the distance. So that, that match, as you said, is definitely, definitely going to be a very amazing match to watch. Especially, I believe it's on Crash as well. Yes, yeah, that is on and, Crash. And, yeah, I'm going to take a look just to verify. Nevertheless, I mean, these are two teams that you will see in main or even P, no matter what. Because, again, with the quality of their rosters, uh, there's no denying it. Uh, you know, you're, we're going to see that. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens and what develops in that match. Uh, yes, ladies and gents, it will be Crash, so that's going to be an up-in-your-face type of uh, map, and uh, again, you know, Bombsite A is going to be the key, and uh, especially around set nades coming out of the blue building, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what develops there. So, right now, uh, we're going to get some shoutouts across really quick here. Wanson, why don't you, we'll start with you, bro. Uh, you can start with my zero shoutouts for the night. I'm holding to my record as the unpopular <laughs> Kennedy rep. <laughs> 
All right, I'll take it over real quick here. <laughs> Nuz from Dynamo, shout out to Sharpie for being super sexy on his birthday. And uh, yes, that's a little personal shout out for myself, well, especially for me, Rip. I'd like to say happy birthday to Sharpie, as I was talking to him a little earlier. Being 19 and in Canada, uh, he should get his drink on. I believe Limec, uh 18 is the limit, or is it 19? I'm not really sure. Limec, correct me on that, please. Uh, it's it's different depending on which province you're in. So. Oh, okay. Well, he may or may not be drinking. So, nevertheless, uh, happy birthday to Sharpie from Erev. And I have a shout out here from uh, looks like DVE. I believe it's short for Dave or Deviate. I'm not really sure, but it's DVE. Shout out to Joint Task Force Two. You're my favorite f bombing brother. And that is from DVE. I have one here from. Dirge here, the manager from Dynamo, download AVG 8.0 today, okay. We have one here from Bloke, real sweet, nice overlay. And uh, thank you, Bloke, from V2 Game Servers. So make sure you guys check them out, my man Bloke over there. And uh, Ted, I don't know if you have any, but do you, bro? Yeah, shout out to uh, Chris Lemley and Sam Lingle from Pandemic and all my other Pandemic guys, Nabor, Keith, Curious G, all those guys. And a uh, shout out to Ian Hill and all the other guys at SEVO. All right, all right. And I guess that's going to be it. Uh, I, hold on, I got one. Oh, all right. I, I have been bro. saved. Uh, Sparks is always keeping my shout out hopes alive here, Anger. And uh, looks like uh, she's going to get a shout out to Erev and DSA and FL. Hugs and kisses. And Anger, as my bodyguard, you're failing pretty hardcore at the moment. So uh, keep a better eye on that. Get your gat out and keep those e-thugs down, Anger. But uh, that, that'll do it for me tonight, man. <laughs> That's all good. <laughs> we will be covering our next cast. will be uh, Saturday for the COD4 draft. That's if everything goes off the way it should, which I think it will. Scope probably has that thing on lock like always, and along with hip shots. So I'm sure we will. And uh, on Sunday, well, I won't say anything yet, but look for our, our um, go to our site at www.e-rev.tv, and we will, we're possibly going to have a special cast on Sunday. Now, I won't say what it is yet, but just check our site. I want to make sure before I, before I let the cat out of the bag, because if this goes off the way it should, this match should be sweet and tasty. So, Limek, do you have anything, last minute words there? Uh, nothing much ahead. Uh, also, make sure to point your browsers and bookmark www.progamingtv.com for all your shoutcasting guiding needs and uh, win the Steam game of your choice. Just check the forums for details. All right, Ted, I know you got some of your shoutouts there. Do you, any last minute words just in case you forgot something there, bro? Nope, I'm good, bro. Thanks a lot. Thanks for letting me cast. All right. Yeah, no problem. We'll definitely have you back, Ted, as uh, we'll probably have you more and more and more as uh, we're going to get ready we'll for Nerve you. Land. Show at Nerve. Yep. Myself and uh, Wanson will be there. Ted will be there casting with us. We will have Mayday Live up close and personal. Unfortunately, Limek will, will not be there. He has a family uh, to take care of, so his two beautiful children, so uh, he will not be able to, to attend. But we will be there live and in, and in person, and we will be at the dinner. Wansom, I know you'll be there. If not, I will just drag you to this dinner that uh, Badfish is putting on. So we will get our sushi on. Well, at least you will. I will be getting my steak on that <laughs> night. So uh, until next time, uh, looks like uh, Dynamo takes out Lossless, and they will move on to the winner's bracket, taking on the winner or taking on Dynamic on Monday. So uh, until then, adios. Erev, apply directly to the forehead. Erev, apply directly to the forehead. Erev is not responsible for any monitor to head related injuries due to your own risk.